guys welcome back today's video i'm going to be sharing with you all the things that i'm taking with me on vacation including clothes shoes swimsuits that i've just picked up things from tj maxx really good finds that i have for you guys and as well as sharing all the makeup that i'm going to be taking on vacation so i hope you guys are excited if you want to see what i'm going to be bringing along for our little vacation then just go ahead and keep on watching but don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and follow me on instagram because i'm going to be posting all of my vacation pics on Instagram. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the packing. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to show you guys that I got for my trip is this adorable beach bag from TJ Maxx. It is so cute. It has the most adorable detailing and I think it's just gonna look so cute on the beach. And it has this nice inside like this where you can draw string it so like no sand can get in on your stuff and you can just stick everything down in there and this was at tj maxx for 24.99 so i was super excited to find this and i'm really excited to take it on vacation so i think i'm just going to go through everything and show you guys what i might be bringing on vacation and then we can pack my suitcase together the next thing i'm definitely taking on vacation are these espadrille shoes I got these at Target a while ago, like, well not a while ago, like a few months ago, and I haven't been able to wear them yet because I haven't really had a place to wear them. So I'm definitely taking these. They fit the vibe and I'm obsessed with them. I also picked up some just cheap little flip flops, but these are really cute and they were $3.99 from Target. They're by Shade and Shore. And I just thought these were gonna be cute because I heard the sand is kind of rough where we're going. So you definitely need some flip-flops so i wanted to buy a cheap pair of flip-flops like that i also picked up sunscreen because i heard it's really expensive there and then a little pure and simple sunscreen for my face of course some makeup remover wipes and i bought those little toothbrush holder things because i'm like so weird about my toothbrush and after vacation i always end up switching out my toothbrush anyway the next thing I'm definitely taking on vacation are just a few pairs of Nike shorts. You can never go wrong with having a few pairs of Nike shorts, let me just say. And of course, jean shorts. I like to wear these just over a bathing suit or throw on with a cute top to go out to dinner or something. So yeah, I feel like you always need to have a good pair of jean shorts. For the swimsuits I'm taking, this one, let's see, it's all tangled up. This one I got at Target last year and it's super cute, just black one piece. I love one pieces, by the way with um some lace detailing down the middle so i'm definitely going to be taking this one i've posted in this one on instagram before so you should definitely follow me on instagram so you can see all my vacation pictures i'll leave the my handle down here the next one is another black one piece but this one's from red dress boutique and it's got the sheer cutout at the top like that as well as the sheer like little netting on the side so it's really cute Super low cut in the back, but I really like that. So that's another one. Swimsuit I'm taking is one I just bought from Cupshe, and it is adorable. It's this cute like nautical looking one piece and it ties kind of in the front. So I'll insert pictures of what it looks like online because it's kind of hard to tell, but that's what this one looks like. And it's super cute as well. It just has a little detailing in the back. And I got a size, I think medium in a one piece just to be safe because this one did have adjustable strap so yeah i got a medium in this one and it was only 24 dollars. so i thought that one was super cute okay the next swimsuit i got is also from cup she as well it is a hot super high-waisted bottoms these are what the bottoms look like and then it goes with this top and again i'll insert a picture so you guys can see because this top is adorable on it has these little detailing where it crosses and ties in the back so that looks super cute on but this one is adorable and I ordered this one in a small because the bottoms um it's like high-waisted bathing suits you can either go one way either they don't look good or they look adorable and sometimes I have to size down for high-waisted so I got a small in that one the next bathing suit I know I'm taking a lot of bathing suits but I just want to have a lot because I don't like to put on a wet bathing suit after I've been at the pool or something is this cute lemon print one piece. Again, I found this at TJ Maxx and I was so excited. It is literally the cutest thing ever. I've been wanting a lemon printed one piece for a while or just swimsuit. And this one was only $19.99. And I think I got this one in a medium as well, yeah. And you can wear this one off the shoulder or you can kind of wear it with like cap sleeves kind of but I love this swimsuit and it goes so well with the next thing I'm about to show you. Next and the last thing I got from Cupshe is this cover up. It's really like just like a long lacy cover up. Again, I'll insert a picture for you guys, but it looks so cute over this swimsuit with 
this beach bag like can, can you see my like vision here so i'm really excited to wear this in on vacation as well so yeah highly recommend cup sheet i got some great coupons too it saved me like 13 dollars using honey the extension and then the um i used ebates too so i got money back on my order so that was great next thing i'm taking is this cute dress this is a high low dress it's like got shorts in the front like that and then this is all just like a regular dress i've been wanting to wear this but i never really had a reason to wear it here so i'm definitely taking this to get some pictures on the beach or something i feel like that would be really pretty at night next thing is this floral printed romper again i can't really show you guys it's so hard to tell but it this is so cute and i got this at tj maxx last year so i love wearing rompers because you don't have to pick out like a top and a bottom you just already have an outfit ready to go probably really overpacking but i'd much rather be overpacked than underpacked and as well some of these things are going to go in my carry-on just in case they ever lose or if they lose my luggage like i'm not going to just not have clothes okay i'm also going to take these kind of linen shorts from target these are super cute and versatile so I can definitely pair these with different shirts and stuff. Like I have this shirt. I don't know if this would really go. This might go better with the black short I'm taking. I'm going to take these cute shorts from Target as well. They tie in the front. And then this like, you can't really tell on camera, but they got this really cool detailing. And um, I don't really know what kind of fabric this is, but they're really cute. And they have some detailing to them as well. So I'm just going to take a few pairs of shorts like this that I can switch out with different tops. So I can have more outfits than, you know, just like one outfit, one short outfit. But I love this shirt. I think it's so cute. It's kind of like that baby doll style and then it ties in the front. And this is pretty old. I got this like two years ago at this boutique that closed down near me actually. <laughs> okay, the last thing I'm taking is this camo romper that ties in the middle. And it's just really cute to throw on. It looks like that in the back and it's just really cute and simple to throw on as well. So I'm definitely taking that. And then I'll have, you know, all these other clothes, so I'll have a good bit of things. And of course, I'm taking t-shirts, Nike shorts, that kind of stuff, um, sports bras. I did buy some new barrettes, like these hair barrettes. I know these are coming back in style, and I used to wear these all the time when I was growing up. I'll show you guys the jewelry. I'm going to be taking just a few pairs of earrings. These are just really simple pieces that I've had for a while at Target. I got them at Target as well. Um... These leopard print earrings go so well with those army green shorts or the black shorts. I got these at a flea market. These next two pairs are actually from Walmart. The time and true earrings are so, so cute. So I'm taking these. They're just simple little earrings that have these cute little things at the top. And then the last pair are just these basic ones from Walmart as well. Okay, and then shoes. I'm going to take one good pair of black basic shoes and then these kind of uh, knockoff Birkenstock looking ones and then probably one more pair. I'm not completely sure yet, but I'm trying not to overpack. I really am trying and this is very hard. Okay, so that is pretty much all I'm going to be taking. I will show you guys like the packing process because we're going to fill up one suitcase, Aaron and I together, and then we'll probably take a carry on. So let's go ahead and get to packing. <laughs> for you now You got two minutes of my time And I don't really break too easily But I'm worth it Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight Oh, so give me something Are you sad mommy's leaving? Are you sad? I'm gonna miss you buddy I'm gonna miss you so much I'm sorry. Look at those pitiful eyes. <laughs> okay, something I do every time I travel is I always put my liquids and stuff like in a plastic bag, obviously. But I always bring a few either trash bags or Target sacks or something to either just put dirty clothes in or put wet swimsuits in. Sometimes the hotel will give you like a bag to put your stuff in, but sometimes all my stuff won't fit in it. You just never know if something gets dirty and you don't want it to come back with all your other clothes. So I always bring a couple trash bags just to be safe. If anything, you can put dirty shoes in it. You never know. Bring trash bags. It'll be a lifesaver. Okay, so this was the updated packing status. I have the carry-on packed with just a few things for me and Aaron um, in case our luggage gets lost, which praying that doesn't happen. But here is our suitcase. It's pretty nicely and neatly packed. And then I still don't know how I'm going to pack this beach bag. 
I don't really know where to put it, but um, yeah, I'm gonna have to figure that out. So that's the packing situation. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what makeup I'm gonna be bringing on vacation. Okay, sorry that the lighting's kind of bad up here. It's getting close to nighttime, but I wanna show you guys what makeup I'm gonna be taking on vacation, just the things that I normally use and I can trust when I'm, you know, traveling. So I'm definitely taking a Real Technique sponge. This one really needs to be cleaned. I just, I usually clean it every single day, so I need to go ahead and clean that. Okay, so for foundation, I am gonna be taking the CYO foundation. This is my absolute favorite. I have it in the shade 101. It's literally perfect for me, and it's only like four or five dollars at Walgreens. If y'all watch the Taylor, you know, I've done a review on this foundation when I used to just do makeup, and it's amazing. Okay, the concealer I'm taking is the Milani Conceal and Perfect. I actually really love this concealer. I just started using it. I have it in the shade 100 Pure Ivory. It is really good, super full coverage, so I highly recommend that concealer. Bronzer, I love the Becca Sunrise Wave. It's a Gradient Sunlit Bronzer. This is so pretty. As you can see, I've already hit pan on it. It just gives your skin a nice bronzy, subtle glow like it has some glow in it so if you don't like glowy kind of bronzers you won't like this but i absolutely love this for blush i really like the wet n wild color icon baked blush this is in the shade don't flutter yourself it's just a really pretty again shimmery it's a very shimmery blush um so i'm gonna also take the tarte blush bliss palette because it has four good shades that i can choose from when i'm traveling just depending on my mood or what i feel like going for that night mascara i've been using the false lashes mascara by essence i'm definitely taking this it's the only one i use taking my eyelash curler the only powder i ever use is the maybelline fit me i have some in the cap so i can't like turn it upside down you can kind of see right there maybelline fit me powder in 05 it's amazing but i also like the dermablend powder too but for traveling purposes I like the Maybelline one. Okay, the only other thing I might take is the It Cosmetics CC Cream just because it has a little bit of sunscreen in it. It has 50 SPF and I just think it makes your skin look really good and when I'm self tan, this looks better. I am gonna self tan tomorrow night probably. Okay, for eyeliner, the only one I ever use and I absolutely love is the Physicians Formula Eye Booster. Two in one lash boosting eyeliner and serum. It looks like this. It is amazing. It has this really nice brush tip which I didn't think I was gonna like, just like that. Okay, for eyeshadow, I really love the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, the original, or the Juvia's Place palette, but this is so neutral, but it's so pretty, and the shades are creamy. Oh my gosh, like, look. So pretty. But yeah, that's all the makeup I'm gonna be taking. I'm not taking a ton of stuff, so that's literally one of everything that I'll need. And then of course brushes and stuff like that. I'll give you guys a good overview of what I'm going to be taking on vacation with me. This is literally all I'm gonna be taking, plus brushes. And that's pretty much all I'm gonna need, and it's what I use on a daily basis, minus my powder. I don't have that, that's right there. But yeah, so this is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what, I'm, what makeup I'm gonna be taking. I know I haven't showed makeup on my channel in a very long time, but. I hope you guys enjoyed that. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed seeing what I'm going to be taking on vacation. If you did, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram if you want to see all my pictures from vacation. I don't know when I'm going to be posting this video, but it's probably going to be within the next day or two. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. See me as your enemy or see me as your friend.